Hello everybody, in this video we're going to talk about how to solve a word problem uh, when we need to use three linear equations with three variables in a system. All right, so let's look at our problem. It says William has a dollar and 27 cents in quarters, nickels, and pennies. He has twice as many quarters as pennies. He has 11 coins total. How many of each coin does he have? So we can go ahead and write our three equations here. So William has a dollar and 27 cents in quarters, nickels, and pennies. So we need to think about the, the actual value here to these coins because once we add the value together that's going to give us our total amount of money. So we know a quarter would be 25 cents, so 0.25q plus a nickel would be 5 cents, 0.05n and a penny would be 1 cent. Okay, so 0.01p and we know that that is going to be equal to the total amount of money we have, a dollar and 27 cents. So that's one of our equations. Now it says he has twice as many quarters as pennies. So that means our quarters is going to be equal to two times our pennies, right? Twice as many quarters as pennies. So short equation there. And then our last one is he has 11 coins total. So we know that we have some quarters, some nickels, some pennies, and we have 11 total coins. So those are our three equations. And now what we need to do is just solve this system. So the first thing that I would do is take my top equation and get rid of all those decimals. So to do that, all we have to do is move the decimal to the right the same number of times. That's like multiplying by 10 or 100 or whatever. So for all of these numbers, we have two decimal places in the first equation. So let's multiply the top equation by 100. So now it's gonna become 25Q plus 5N plus 1P, or just plus P, is equal to 127, okay? Now what we can do, let's take um, our bottom equation here and let's write it next to or under it like this and let's eliminate P, okay? So now we have this. So we're gonna do 24Q minus Q would be 24Q, 5N minus N would be 4N, P is gonna go away and 127 minus 11 would be 116. So now we have that equation, 24Q plus 4N equals 116. All right, so now what we need to do is go back and use our two equations that we haven't used yet, or the one equation, I guess, Q equals 2P, and we need to eliminate P. And so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take Q equals 2P, and I'm gonna write it like this, Q minus 2P equals zero. So all I did was I subtracted 2P to go over to the left side, and now I'm gonna multiply my top equation here by two. Okay, so now it's gonna give me this, 2Q plus 2N, plus 2p equals 22. And now we have q, we don't have an n here, so I'm just leaving a blank. This is minus 2p equals zero. Okay, so now since our we have a 2p and a negative 2p, we can add these two equations together. So we have 2q plus q would be 3q, 2n plus nothing, so 2n. Our p's cancel and 22 plus zero is 22. So now we have this equation that has a star by it. We can now use it to eliminate over here. So we have 3Q plus 2N equals 22, and I'm gonna eliminate N. So let's multiply this equation by two. So I'm gonna leave my top equation, 24Q plus 4N equals 116, but now we have 6Q plus 4N equals 44. And now we can subtract these, 24Q minus 6Q would be 18Q, 4Ns go away, and this is gonna give me 72. All right, 116 minus Let's check that, 116 minus 44, good. Now we divide both sides by 18 and we get Q is equal to four, okay? Which means we have four quarters, okay? Now, the rest of this is pretty simple. Let's take and let's plug in this equation, Q equals 2P. So now we have four equals 2P. We can divide by two and we get the fact that we have two pennies, okay? Now we go back and let's go in our last equation here, Q plus N plus P equals 11. So Q is four plus N plus P is two equals 11. So this would be six plus N equals 11. And we get N is equal to five, okay? So now our final answer, we have four quarters. We have five nickels, or we don't have them, William has them. And we have two pennies. Okay, so we can check that. Four quarters would be um, one dollar. Five nickels would be 25 cents. And two pennies would be two cents. So we add those together and we do get 
a dollar and 27 cents. Okay, so that's how you can solve a word problem when you have three systems or one system with three variables and three equations.